Okay, so thank you, Tony, for the great start. Hello, everyone. I'm Kevin from the Chiu Technology. I'm a sales engineer in this company. Today, I'm going to introduce how access control system interactive with the NX Witness VMS is a new integration. Okay, so let me introduce to you our company first. Chiu Technology based in Taiwan over decades, focusing on security field like access control, time dependence, lift control, car parking, digital I.O., and uh, we are the total solution provider. And I have a short video, about two minutes, to show what we do in the industry. So here, here we go. shown in the video, all applications can integrate with the VMS. So the, the next slide, um, as we know, there are there are three men, there are three men security field in the industrial. Hey, Kevin. Hey, yes. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Martin says he can't hear. I just want to check with everybody else. Uh, okay. Is anybody else having audio issues or is this a Martin issue? You guys could write in the chat if you can hear me. And I will know that you can hear us. All right, so Thomas can hear us. Martin, I think it might be local. You might want to check your uh, audio section. The other attendees are saying that they can hear us. So you might want to check your audio settings and check your output device. All right, go ahead, Kevin. Okay, so um, I'm continue, continue with the slide, right? Yes. Okay. So as we know, there is a there is a three men three men part in the security field. Access control part. Uh, access control part to manage the human assets, uh, like um, like fingerprint, like RFID card, like facial recognition, and uh, and uh, Password, ping, and uh, Bluetooth. And we have a CCTV surveyor in a row in the factory or more bigger, more bigger to the country border. We can see the 
cameras all over the row and uh, with the DVR or NVR server recording and uh, an alarm system uh, for the event trigger. Monitor input like any button, door sensor, environment sensor data, like um, transfer the data from the CO2 sensor, humidity sensor, temperature sensor, and the uh, output like alarm, flasher, like a LED light. So um, in the past, before this integration, uh, each industrial need to find another to make integration. But um, it will take time to find a, the other industrial to put together the test time. So today, the integration will put the three parts together to make a total solution for clients. It will be save more time to find a solution. So the next part. The integration, the equipment for the integration is very simple. Uh, we have a we have a access controller, we have an access controller, we have a, a proximity controller for the for the for by biometry and the RFID card pin NFC. And we have a we usually comes with the door sensor, door sensor installed with the controller to monitor the door status. And for the digital input and output, we usually connect a environment sensor and a penny button to monitor the input and control output and cameras. So the Oh, integration of the improvement is very simple. So true you, you guys make the, the time and attendance uh, readers and the control boards for the right. access control and time and attendance solution. Do you guys have um, separate software that manages those or are they all embedded devices? Uh, yeah, we, we, we have, a, we have a, our own software to, to make a, to manage the device. And the software is a, is it is it thick client software, or is it a, a web based? Um, it, it's a it's a thick client, not not web based. Okay, and then but, uh, but but the device have a have a built in web server for the for users to manage. Okay, so the, the the devices themselves have web servers, but then you have another right. client that connects from uh, Windows? Do you have a Ubuntu or is it just Windows based? Windows based. Windows based, so there's a Windows based client, okay. Right. So, there, here we go. I have a demo key to show um, what the agreement. So you can see uh, there's a facial device, the controller, the equipment shows on the all point. So this is your this is your demo kit you have running right now, and that's you in the video, right? Can you wave to the camera? <laughs> there you go. I'm so here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Kevin live from Taiwan with his demo kit, uh, with all the uh, demo equipment set up and the uh, NX Witness system uh, running locally on his laptop and on the projector there, right? Right. Right. All right. Okay, so we move on. So how how we work with NX? It is very simple. Through the NX server API, and the API is, the NX server API is available on the on the official website of NX with this. Actually, the, the API is available in the product, so you don't even have to talk to us. You can just download the product and, and get access to the oh, API right away. Clear. So the server API, it, it just so everybody knows, is the HTTP API, uh, REST API. It's really easy to, to, 
to uh, do integrations. You can do integrations in a matter of minutes uh, with the API, with our generic events. And sure, you, you guys have been working with us for like three years now, right? More than three years. More than three years, four years. So uh, uh, since yeah. the, the first development tools came out, Churyu was one of our very first partners that started doing integrations with us in Taiwan. Um, our first office outside of the United States was actually in Taipei. And they, they, they met up with uh, Churyu and Churyu was looking for a way to add video capabilities into their platform and they partnered up with NX. And we've been doing a lot of business with you guys in the APAC region, specifically in the Taiwan and uh, uh, mainland China markets, right? Yeah. All right. So we move on? Yep. There is a major five features in this presentation. The first features, the five features would be the boom marks, alarms, email, and test overlay and the soft trigger. And the first feature I'm going to introduce is for the boom marks. So um, in our daily life, what do we know about boom marks? Uh, it's like um, we mark up a, spe a specific page on the book so we can look out in, in another, another day. So the concept is similar in the NX, and that's with it. Okay, so you can see on the slide, uh, there is a there is a boom mark mark up the space the specific page like a bio I, the ID access granted uh, and uh, another ID not allowed door and another one is fire user and a high temperature alert and a evacuation alarm elevator evacuation can be the carbon dioxide can be the smoker sensor. And how Umas works? It's a it's for a real time as con, access control and time maintenance blocks monitor the user footage and the Umas search monitor the trash bag event the trash bag the more the importance of this is trash bag user event and we integrate with the Umas feature. Uh, via the, the next server API. So I have a demo key and show you the how the Pumas works. Okay, so first, uh, like say you are the face, you are the visitor of the company. So face the company, so the the administrator give you a car like you just your car. Uh, Welcome. So you can see. You can see the employee ID and then here it shows shows the extra information on the video wall. Not just SS log, not just text. It just it recorded user footage. Welcome. And all integrates the Puma here. So you can see the blue bar here, and, and another event. Kevin, okay, I think your camera's not recording, so your bookmark's not working. Yeah, so in order to have a bookmark, you have to have a camera that's recording. And, and don't worry about it, Kevin. This is a demo, so things always go wrong. Um, but basically, what happens is when you read that, oh, there you go. It needs to be coming in now. When you uh, create one of those events, there's a rule that's set up, right, in the rules engine. So if you go to system administration, Oh, don't worry about it, Kevin. We can show them how it works. So go to system administration. If you go to the hamburger menu on the top left, Kevin. Where? The, the menu on the top left. Yep, and go to system administration. And then you go to rules, the, the, the bell, the event rules, the first one. There you go. 
And on here, we can see there's a, a bunch of events that have been set up in the system. So when a specific type of event occurs, in this case, a verified user occurs, then there will be a five, uh, or you just change it to seven seconds, but seven second bookmark that will be created in the archive. And it says that there was a verified read um, by the access control system. And you can make this as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. So you don't have to bring in every event, right? You can bring in specific events that are important for you from Churyu um, and tag video in the archive with a bookmark, um, which can then be searched later on um, using uh, the bookmark tab in version 4.0, as Kevin's showing you over there on the right, right? So if you close that dialog, Kevin, the rules dialog, and you, uh, you can go ahead and close that one. Close the close that dialog. It's all right. And then uh, on the right, you can see all the bookmarks that have been created in the past. So if Kevin was is to click on one of those, and the the recording is actually functioning properly in the demo kit, which it's not because the demo gods hate webinars, um, then you would be able to pull up the video from that specific read write uh, event. So that verified verified event or that um, access denied event or whatever the event may be will show up in the timeline as a bookmark, which Kevin showed you on the PowerPoint earlier. So you have a little section of the timeline where it says this event just occurred and that event can later be searched, right? So it allows you to pull in all the critical events from the access control system um, and show them along the timeline, right? Right. All right. All right. So, uh, so um, what? Uh, don't worry about it, Kevin. It's, it's the demo gods. Demo gods hate webinars. It's not your fault. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> it, happens all the time. it happens all the time. So, uh, what's the next one you're going to show us? Uh, it's um, a, a lot of event. So, not a registered user for the. So, there is a um, expired user who usually assign assign a specific period for the visitor. So one, what if the visitor forgot to update his, update his validation, it will show. Please check with administrator. So right. um, another event for expired user. Now that one's interesting. So basically what just happened was you read, you read a card that was expired, right? Right. So if there's a security operator and they're watching the camera, um, then if you do it again, can you do it one more time? Yeah. So there's a, well, we have an in, in witness is this feature called alarm layout. Um, and we have a new feature as well called layout as an action. So with alarm layout, you just say basically anytime there's an alarm like this that occurs, open the alarm layout and pull up the cameras that are related to that reader, right? And show right. me uh, the live video of what's happening at that reader where an alarm occurred. Hey, your uh, recording just started working, so now all your bookmarks are showing up on the timeline. Uh, <laughs> Please <laughs> check with administrator. Yeah, much shows. So, okay, sure. you just showed us the alarm layout, and we also heard an alarm audio alert, right? right that's being generated by Annex with this. And they're all based off the same rule. So when something occurs, you can do all of these different actions in the Annex with this interface to show you and alert your operators of an event that's occurring that's important for you, right? Yes, so um, uh, Tony, do you have, a, do you have a, your private room to store your supercar? A private room to, ser to store my supercar, is that what you said? Right, 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 right. So, uh, what if what what if what if somebody try to get get the access of your of your room that stole the supercar? They will show. Not a lot of person. So the security now. Whoa! Someone tried to break the door of the supercar. So if you have if you have a uh, access control system from sure you and your teenager tries to steal your supercar, then you will know, right? Yeah, I will know. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, and, and the next event, so what if well, we usually have an easy car to take the transportation, so what if you one day you lose you lose your car or somebody pick up your car and try to use try to use it in the wrong way, so like crim like criminal. Uh -huh. Go. Please go to the information desk. Because because the, the moment we lost the car, we need to call the administrator to de-edit our car, right? Right. Right. So um, this is to monitor who is use your car to do some to do something wrong or criminal. One interesting thing about that, Kevin. Hey, can you open the uh, rules engine again? So the the like we did before the system administration menu. Yeah, and then uh, rules, and then. Um, there's a, not a bookmark, but uh, the alarm. Yeah. Alarm layout, uh, yeah, or a notification. Uh, well, no, I'm gonna say the text overlay. Show the text overlay one. Cause you're doing, so, there you go. So one thing that these guys are doing, that's interesting is if you notice right there, that's a good one. There's the ability to display custom text using um, HTML tags. So what, what Churyu has done is actually um, create a custom text overlay. So when you see the red that shows up and you see the text that's larger, um, they've actually created that as a header, right? With the font color red, so that the text overlay is very obvious for anybody who's looking at it. So you can actually customize the way that the text looks on top of the video uh, when there is an event where you wanna show a text overlay for your operators or your guards. All right, thank right. you. And then the blue mark search. Okay, the blue mark search, um, uh, for example, we want to see who is um, taking the time attendance in the morning, so maybe we can search. We can search Puma by the name uh, to see okay, who feels. Uh, to see, Bill, yes, Bill checking in, Kevin, Kevin checking in, or search by the uh, event, verify. Yes, so the Puma search uh, is for the security guy, for the administrator can transfer the event fast. Yeah, so any attribute you send in as part of the um, generic event will also be searchable, right? Anything that you create a bookmark with, with text or the name or anything, any any content you put into that bookmark will become searchable in the uh, archive. So you can pull up related right. video events, right? right? Correct. All right. Okay, so the next would be... Okay, uh, what if someone, uh, you are leaving your office, you are leaving your office and... Welcome. This is no sensor. And what if you are leaving your office and you forget to, you are too happy to off work, you forget to close your door. So after five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds... Do not forget to close the door. Do not forget to close the door. So there's a door open to long event. So the next, what about uh, some somebody try to break the door of Tony's? Which which store? The where store? The supercars? The door intruder and police arrive soon. So there there is a, a lot of as control event you can use with the uh, Puma to. To mark up the the show video, to mark up the, the specific period, to so you can transfer the event. So that's how Puma works. So we move on. Yeah. The next part. Alarms. 
So what do we know for our lives? Okay, when, when you are when when you are browsing a web page, a user like a oh, shopping shopping website or another website, there there always um, some pop up screen. Pop up screen to show some you know, something is on sale, something is is sell out or it's on the anniversary sales. It has it has a pop up screen to draw your attention. So alarms the the core value of the alarms is to draw the administrator's attention. So in a, a alarm features, we can see there is alarm layout and um, generate the pop up to alert operate of event in multi screen monitor and audio alert. Generate customizable audio alerts for operate and email notifications. And usually you've already shown these, right? So I don't think you need to go over those again. Yeah. So I will show on the demo key again. Oh, you don't need to show it again. I think we're good. Uh, you want to go to the next one? Because we just saw most of these, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I can go, go on the next one. Yeah, let's go to the next one. The next one, emaps. Okay, the, the emaps. You can have a, you can have a, your own layouts like um, like a flow one, yeah, flow two, and you can put your the camera location, press the location of the cameras. Pretty straight straightforward to to make you uh make you uh can see where is uh, event happens. Yeah, we call that uh, situational awareness. Yeah, situational awareness, right. You can put here or another put here. Straightforward. And the, the, the features that I'm gonna introduce in the uh, event is smart search. Okay, smart search is to uh, monitor the human uh, like um, actions or the objects. So maybe uh, it's this circle this door and to see to see if anyone opens the door, monitor the actions, and you can monitor the object like uh, some uh, if the object is above. So for there is a there's a red bar here. Yeah, so you're showing the smart motion search, which is basically the ability to select any pixels in a camera view and then yeah. search the timeline for motion in those pixels themselves, right? Yeah, so um, the, the red bar of the smart search will automatically jump out to the next bar. Automatically jump out to the next bar, so you can see here, and automatically jump, jump out to the next red bar of smart search. I think uh, most users are pretty familiar with that feature. We're pretty famous for that one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we we'll move on next part. Yeah, let's go to the next integration. Okay. The next integration will be a test overlay. So the test overlay. That's what we went over. Right? Yeah, so we went over a few minutes ago with the customization, right? So this this information you have here, RH equals forty five. What is that? What is RH equals forty five? This is for the humidity. Ah, okay. So relative humidity is forty five, and temperature is twenty seven degrees Celsius, and the CO two is seven hundred and twenty one parts per million. Right. So the test overlay is not only can can show the event. Can also show the, the 
environmental status of the site, like um, um, shows test basketball monitor user location SOP, uh, what to when the event happens, what the user needs to do the next step, the next steps to need to follow the rules. Okay, so you can see here there there is a real time environmental status on on our sensors. So we usually install we usually install the temperature sensor in the server. We usually install the carbon dioxide sensor in the office. We, we usually um, install the humidity sensor in the machine to monitor the body. So what about, I'm, I'm showing some examples. Yeah, so Churyu so Churyu has uh, analog uh, sensors that come into your control board, right? With the humidity, yeah. temperature, and CO2. And that information is being relayed in real time as a tech overlay, right? And if you go above a certain amount, you can generate an alarm. Right, right. So then the CO the CO two value getting higher, it would have a have a test overlay to show that in the red phone, in the red phone to to run the users and yeah. automatically trigger the output. Where is that and, most often? Where is that most often used in, in IT rooms? In your experience? Uh, in in the server in the server room, the temperature sensor. The server. Yeah. Temperature and humidity are important for IT rooms, definitely. And right, right. The CO2, temperature room. CO two is more important for the office. Is that right? Right. Right. So um, for for the every events like um, okay, so for example. Tony, you forgot you forgot your holiday today, but you still go to office. So can you scan your car? Step shift schedule. It shows not a lot time zone and let you know please check your shift shift schedule. You are off today. And Kevin, there was one question which came in, uh, which is how do you get the layout inside of NX Witness? And I'm gonna show you right now. So if you go to create a new layout, go plus at the top there and you right click on the, 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 the viewing grid and you go to layout settings. No, just, uh, just in the middle there, right click, go to layout settings. And then in layout settings, you have the ability to add a background. Yeah. The background. Yeah. And then go to browse and then choose school two. Yeah. So you can see here, you've just created a layout with an image background and this is for charlotte who was asking about it and then you can gr grab your cameras and your devices from over on the left so if you want to pull that camera in, you can grab it and pull it in you see the little thumbnail that just appeared and now you can resize those thumbnails to be as big or as small as you want um, and then you have your cameras on your layout uh, next to the the places where they actually are in your facility and you can import um, lots of different formats for that background. It could be JPEG, BMPs, um, TIFF images. If you right click again on that, go to layout settings for me, Kevin. And go to background again. Then you can, when you go to browse, you can see at the bottom, there's lots of different types of formats down there. BMP, GIF, JPEG, J, uh, P, PBM, PGM, PNG, PBM. A lot of different formats that you can bring in from third party um, with a third party layout on it. And then that can form the background for you for your layouts. So that's how you bring in a layout and create a, uh, a digital mapping experience inside of the next witness. All right, thanks, Jim. Um, so um, in the test overlay, now you can show the SOP can show the environment status like um, in the emergency for the for the monitor. But if in a hospital, we usually know there is a hospital, there is a center, there is a center centers, there's a central part to monitor the multi video walls to monitor the patient's room, right? So what if the, the emergency happens? People can press so that somebody help emergency, so let the let the doctor can check the specific patient's room fast. 
And that's just an input on the true you control board, right? Right, right, right. It's, it's our control input, and output. That could be used for in hospital environments or in uh, schools or in... Uh, uh, Any, anything you want to use um, for the emergency. Right. Anytime you want to have an alarm input go out. The bank, for example, if you're getting robbed, same thing. Right. Right, uh, we, we are on a trans transportation and, when, and some strangers, uh, they, uh, some um, doing uh, sexual harassment to you, so you can press a button. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, so we move into the next part. Yeah. Okay, the, the next part would be the soft trigger. Okay, the soft trigger is allow user, allow operator to put a little button on the top of the screen to trigger system actions, uh, most like uh, like HTTP commands. So you can you can have a soft trigger here. So for example, the soft trigger can not only be set on the, the PC but also on the on the mob, mobile side. So you can see here. We just have our app, and you can see what action you do. So maybe you can turn the light, close the lights, and we open the fan, open the fan here, and close the fan. So soft triggers are programmable buttons that you can put on top of any camera. Uh, right. in a system or all cameras in a system, and they allow you to execute any system actions that are already in the rules engine. Or what Kevin's also talking about is you can also hook them up to HTTP requests. So if you wanted to uh, open a door in the access control system, there's a there's a um, there's a button for that, right? Open. Right. So if you have a guard and he's watching a secure door, and then uh, there's someone comes up and rings a doorbell, you can get alert, and then you can open the door for them using that soft trigger. Hey, can you right click on that camera and go to camera rules? Oh, you were there. There you go. So, yeah, do HTTP requests. You can see here, this is soft trigger door open once, and it's sending an HTTP request to the Chiryu access control system and, right. and, it's, and it's, uh, it's authenticating and it's saying, hey, I'm, I'm someone allowed to open the door and please open this door for me, right? Um, so your operator in your NX witness system can actually control the access control system, uh, the Chiryu access control system from the NX witness interface itself, right? And that, sure. can, be, that can be used uh, for Chiryu, that can be used for basically any system that you want to integrate with. Um, you can even use it, and this is something not a lot of people know, but you can even use it to send actions back to your NX witness system to trigger additional actions in the NX witness system. Because you can use an API call to NX witness to open layouts. Um, so if you have mapping, you can do multi-level maps. Um, you can do a lot of different things with soft triggers. It's a really flexible way to uh, allow you to control uh, your NX witness system and third-party systems. Yeah, and you can also assign a authorization to the users. Yeah, you can assign it to individual users depending on their rights. So you can say, I want this person to be able to open the door, but not this person, right? Right. Perfect. Okay, so so there is a true introduction. So you just um you have a desk, desktop version of soft soft trigger and a mobile call for a soft trigger. Remember to have a an desk with this mobile app, so you can monitor the monitor the uh, the side via through the mobile. Yep. And in version four point one, which is coming out very soon, you'll also have push notifications. So that you can also uh, receive a push notification on your mobile app uh, that alerts you to any events that are going on without even having the mobile app open. Yeah. So. 
So the presentation, the, the by futures of presentation is uh, right now we jump to the Q and A. So there's a question: so How do you add uh, the true device in NX? Uh, Charlotte, that was what we were just showing now. Um, uh, TrueU has, I'm sure, uh, set up instructions on how to link the two systems together um, for soft triggers. Um, in terms of actually showing TrueU access control devices inside of NX Witness, well, there is, there is one way. Um, Kevin spoke earlier about the fact that the, the devices themselves have web servers and web interfaces. Um, so you can pull in an NX Witness, um, there's the ability to open up um, browser-based applications on your layout as well. So you can add a browser window uh, to those devices and then control those devices from the browser uh, as well um, as using soft triggers. Are there any other questions? So true, you guys sell your access control system. Um, what 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 ge geographies do you cover? What countries do you guys sell your access control solution into? All, all over the world. All over the world. Right. Okay. So any country, basically. Any country, right? Any country. We we serve for every, every country, like like you, the next, right? Yeah. How do you compare? to um, something like, uh, what's the, what's the, some, some of the other competitive access control solutions that are out there. Oh, okay. So um, we can see um, there is a solutions, individual solution that uh, other system doesn't, other brand, you know, other our competitor doesn't bring the VMS together. So maybe, maybe the, some VMS system is complicated to use, but the NS witness system is really simple to use. As, as we can see, it's um, easy to integrate through the, through the NS server API, and it's really um, easy to set up, set up the camera, set up the event, so set up the controller to bring the whole system Interactive with, with each other. And what what kind of uh, what kind of systems do you guys typically do? Do you do more industrial stuff? Um, do you do more commercial, like offices, um, or do you do like K two twelve? Just curious. Uh, like, like we were doing uh, more like industrial. More industrial because you're based in Taiwan, right? So like most of your customers are are making uh, semiconductor chips and electronics. Right. right, right. So when we, we put down um, right now, we, we are providing a total solution to to the like a battery, like a country border. The client want to use the whole whole application to bring the the what we mentioned in the PowerPoint to put the alarm system, to put the CCTV, to put the S computer together. Cool. So Thomas is saying he's been working with you guys for 10 years and he does all commercial and that your system is very stable and easy to use and very easy to program and your support is A plus. So you got, you got one fan on the <laughs> webinar right now. So that's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so <laughs> so what, 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 who are your competitors? Who is our competitor all over the world? Like, um, on the, the most, Familiar with like um, ZK Takeo or the main in China. Uh huh. Yeah, and uh, and we we so that's the reason why we bring the VMS together because we don't want to get in the the price. The you know the, the price competition will make a, will make both of us less profit, right? Oh, so better for better for everyone else because you know network optics doesn't charge for integrations, and I guess uh, true you also right. does not charge for the integration, right? We want our client not only buy our products. I want them buy the solutions. Yeah, the total solution, right? And the total solutions. Gotcha. That makes okay, sense. so I see I see the Thomas said, and Sapro is A plus. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Welcome to that meeting. It's at us. Are there any other questions, guys? About TrueU, about network optics, whatever you guys want to ask. And then, um, if you want to try the the OS controller into, uh, uh, okay, that's that. If you want to try the integration, there uh, you can use our controller. Then it is a thirty days a month monthly trial for the NX, right? For the thirty day trial license, right? Yep. Yeah. So, um, you you, you can use the the blue mark, the the alarm, the test overlay, the email soft trigger, um. Uh, in the uh, integration, but uh, um, if you use the boom mark, you, you, you need a license. But uh, you, if you want to use another other features, you don't need to use the you don't need to have a license. So that's really really um widely usable. Absolutely. So Martin was asking a question about how to learn more about network options. You go to networkoptics.com, guys. Um, you can find out everything you need to know about NX Witness. It's completely free to download it. Uh, it's completely free to use for live video. So if your customers just want live video, they can download our software and use it for free. Right? Um, the only charge is when you start to record it. And if you want to download network uh, or um, you want to download uh, NX Witness, you just go to my.networkops.com and sign in um, and then go to download here and choose the latest release um, and you can choose the, uh, the the operating system that you're using. We support Windows, we have a client for Mac, we have Windows and server applications for uh, Windows, sorry, client and server applications for Windows and Ubuntu Linux, um, client for Mac. We have mobile apps for iOS and Android. We even support some ARM devices like Raspberry Pi, Banana Pies, um, NVIDIA Jetson uh, devices if you're into the whole AI analytics thing, which a lot of our partners are. Um, so you can go here, download the software for free. Um, and if you have any questions or you want to learn how to buy, you just click on the how to buy button uh, and you can select your region. I think Martin has said he's in Argentina, so you go to Latin America here. You see, we got a partner down there named Export Tech in Colombia, in Ecuador, um, and you can click on there and go straight to their website to find out more about how you can buy an Exodus from these guys. Um, and then Kevin is very familiar um, with NX Witness in terms of how you can reach Kevin. Kevin, do you have an email address that they can write oh, sure, to? Sure, sure. Sure. I, I have a. Let me share. Let me let me switch back to you so you can share your screen and put your email address on the presentation for these guys. Okay, my email address. You go ahead and share your screen again whenever you're ready. Yeah, so, yeah. That's how true. Is it? Am I pronouncing it right? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, lived, uh, I lived in Shanghai for 14 years, so I can actually speak a little Mandarin. Sure, so you, you can see, speak a little. Can go on. Done. All right. Well, there you go. There's Kevin's email address. And this presentation, um, by the way, guys, um, if you want to look at some of the other webinars we have done, um, I'm going to steal this back from you again, Kevin. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I have uh, something to to make uh, uh, our new release solution. So that uh, our the solution will be inter 
integrated in the NS later. We will release the feature soon, so check this screen. For the facial, for the mobile and, and the temperature detention, body temperature for, for right now the COVID-19. Identification success. Identification success. You will see me <laughs> doing the face and the motion. So. Okay, so this, this is for the for our new for our new new solution update this for the face and thermal sensor and you will be also come comes with the NX. Yeah. Uh, I was going to show these guys one thing real fast. On uh, my.nevergraphics.com, if you want to find this webinar in, in a few days, it'll be up on um, our webinars page here. Um, so if you go to our webinars, uh, you can see all the past works with the next webinars and all the different solutions that work with us. And, and true, you will be up here uh, at the top. Uh, when you go in, you can see the uh, present. You can see the uh, recording of this webinar. Uh, you can see the presentation slides, and then Kevin's contact information and Tree's website will be here uh, on the Works the Next webinar page. So, have a look um, at the existing ones, and you will. This will be up there shortly, in a matter of a day or two. So, Tony, I Tony, I see the Q and A in the below. Below there's a Q&A notice. Yeah, there's one question, which is, is sure you developing an air fob? Oh, thank you. He said thank you. Uh. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so, right, uh, yeah? Well, I think we're hitting our time limit, Kevin. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, end the webinar, but thank you very much for showing us uh, to you. Uh, and the yeah. integration you guys have done with the next so this, like I said, you've been one of our longest, long-term uh, development partners. Um, sure, uh, sure. We appreciate you guys continuing to develop kind of new integrations and, and new ways of integrating your access control system together with our video management solutions. Yeah, yeah. Both of us, both of us doing the A plus service, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, A plus. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, Tony. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, and have a good day over there in Taiwan. Uh, stay safe uh, in uh, this uh, stressing time we're all in. Uh, yeah, so take, take care, my take, take care, my friend. Take care. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.